Hello everybody, it's Kari Schaefer and I'm sending out this series of videos that are all giving you little tips of what you can do when you start to get sick. So today we're going to talk about the difference between what we call in Chinese medicine a wind cold and a wind heat. So the main difference for you to tell whether you have a wind cold or whether you have a wind heat is whether or not you have a sore throat. So if you have a sore throat, then you have a wind heat heat, especially if you're in the first stages of getting sick. Now, there are certain things you can do to support yourself when you're getting a wind heat. The first thing you want to do is think of grabbing peppermint tea and making it super, super strong. Peppermint, one of the medicinal properties of it is to clear a wind heat. So, so get yourself drinking really strong peppermint tea, bundle up and allow yourself to sort of sweat out that, that heat. Now the other thing that you can do is gargle. You want to, when you have a sore throat, it's because the, the microorganisms that your body is fighting are in that region and it's creating some inflammation. Gargling can make you not a good host. And there's a couple of things you can try. You can try gargling with warm salt water. And all you do is you take a teaspoon of salt water, you put it in, in warm water, warm water that's more than warm, as hot as you can comfortably um, tolerate it. And then you gargle with it and, and really swish it around in there to create a, an environment where those bugs cannot replicate. Another thing you can use if the salt water doesn't seem to be working is apple cider vinegar. You can, same thing, hot, hot, warm hot water, apple, a tablespoon, teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, gargle, 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 gargle. And very often that alone will be enough to stop the process. So, that's for wind heat. Now, if you start to experience chills and your nose is running, you don't have a sore throat, that's a sign of wind cold. If you start noticing like when the wind blows, it bothers you and you're feeling chilled, those are signs of wind cold. So what do we do for wind cold? Wind cold, ginger. You want to get yourself some fresh ginger. You want to slice a couple thick slices Put them in water and let it steep, boiling water. And you really want to let it steep in that boiling water until the water is nice and strong. Again, you want to bundle up and you want to drink that ginger. You want to promote a sweat to help your body expel, as we say in Chinese medicine, the pathogen. You can even climb in a hot bath and really let yourself sweat it out. Now, sometimes people want to go to the steam at the gym, which can be great, but a lot of times those steams have other things growing in them. If you go in, they smell a little bit musty. So if you're going to go in to um, take a steam, you got to make sure that the steam room is really, really, really clean. Otherwise, you might just be adding insult to an already compromised system. Okay, so wind heat, sore throat, peppermint tea is a great line, first line of defense, and when cold, chills, runny nose, you're looking for ginger tea. This is Kari Schaefer, and I hope these little tips help you avoid getting a prolonged illness. Anyway, send you lots of love.